My name is Kevin Brownlee. I'm the Curator of Archaeology at the Manitoba Museum. The Manitoba Museum has got a whole range of, of archaeology in our galleries. In terms of collections, we have the largest collection of any of the departments here. Ours is uh, makes up about 2.8 million uh, items. Uh, but when you consider some of the broken sherds that we have, uh, and one pot might be made up of 300 pieces, it doesn't take long to, uh, to make up the 2.8 million. But uh, it is quite large and represents all across Manitoba. Some of the things that we have a lot of uh, are clay pots. Pottery in Manitoba has gone back about 2,500 years. They break and we find them in pieces at, at sites and are actually very indicative of time periods and cultural group that they were made by. And you also get a very personal touch on it as well. Sometimes we'll actually see the fingerprints of the woman who actually produced the, the pot, which it really sort of brings this alive that this is produced by people long ago and, and is really a, 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 a key indicator on who was actually there, who was producing this material. And so we've got harpoons that are going back 4,000 years old, uh, some that are a couple of thousand years old, so fishing equipment and how they were sort of accessing the resources of the time. Um, we've been doing some work on quarries where people were actually digging out uh, stone to make their, their tools uh, going back about six and a half thousand years ago in northern Manitoba. Some of the first peoples to arrive into northern Manitoba about 8,000 years ago were using some of these quarries and we're now doing uh, testing to find out where uh, a particular stone tool was actually made uh, by based on its uh, chemical makeup and so we're able to trace this stuff back and around and so the you know the the, the richness of, of how sort of science is helping us understand what was going on a long time ago is just advancing leaps and bounds and it's wonderful to be able to sort of incorporate some of the cutting-edge work that's being done in other disciplines into archaeology.